What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit and if this car looks familiar to you, it's because you've been around the channel for a very long time. It was my competition car in Forza Motorsport 7. We are back here on Forza Motorsport 7. We're going to see if I could still drift in Forza 7. So let's get to it. Let's have a little fun. Let's get sideways and see if I can still drift in Forza 7. Alright, so like I said, we are back on Forza 7. Did hook the Xbox One back up for the moment. So we are back here with the full Fanatec rig and everything going on. But now we have two cameras with the new PC, being able to see pedal cam and stuff here on Forza 7. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go to a free play session and see if we can actually still drift here. I don't know how the settings are or anything like that. Let's see about changing up tracks. If I can still remember how to uh how to change tracks in this game all right now that we remember how to change tracks in this game we're gonna see i'm trying to think where the funnest track would be to take this car out right now and just see if we can still drift here in forza 7 I'm trying to think of the funnest track i could think about that we could go do for you know a lower horsepower car and i'm thinking we're probably gonna go to Maple Valley is a pretty good track to go to right off the rip. Uh, we don't want it wet. Okay, okay. Dry, dry, dry. All right. Let's go. So, like I said, I'm not sure what my wheel settings are right now. I'm not sure how the wheel settings are set up. Because haven't been on the Xbox One in, well, since I got the PC. So, bring it back. Forza Motorsports 7 with the anticipation of the new Forza coming out. But... I know a lot of you guys have been around with the Forza content, so I decided to bring, you know, Forza Motorsport 7 drifting back. And to really see if I can uh, still drift here on 7, being on a set of course for a very long time. I don't know why I'm trying to use my mouse. So we're just going to go out there and, uh, well, see what happens. Alright, well... Definitely already different feeling right now. All the wheels feel so much different than a Seto. The wheel feel is definitely totally different. We're gonna dial back the audio a little bit so I don't blow you headphone users ears with the rotary gag. Okay, we need to be in fourth. Oh man, so different. But uh, I feel like we could still drift here in seven. Oh, as I say that, we go right in the dirt. Oh, I feel like I need to uh, definitely adjust some wheel feedback settings and everything because this is definitely uh, a bit different oh yep I remember trying to get super smooth on this game and definitely uh, struggling with it for a while I feel like the Fanatec is very twitchy right now and I'm not sure why I'm gonna have to go back and Fine-tune some settings. But we can uh, still kind of drift here in seven. Nowhere as smooth as I used to be for, say, like, competition. But, oh gosh. Yep, we need to tweak some settings here. So let's, uh, oh, wrong button. Let's go and see about some wheel settings. Oh, no, I wanted to go options, I wanted to go controller, and now we're going to go to advanced. I'm unsure where I really need to change all this stuff, but I think we're going to lower 
a bunch of stuff and just see where this leads us to and go back I may have to go back and take a look at some of my original settings I had okay now that's very light so we need to ah uh, wrong button again I think we need to add some of that mechanical feel Maybe this will give us a little bit more of a road feel or a self steer in a sense. It's a little better. Let's see. Wheel just feels super light to me right now. Oh boy, compared to a set of Corsa. And I think I'm gonna have to go back and really check some of my old settings and stuff like that to see if we can't maybe get the to feel back how I want it to. But then again, like I said, we are so used to running on a set of Corsa that everything is different. I'm gonna kick this one back up. I'm gonna kick this really high. I'm gonna just kick this back up too. We'll go the opposite direction than what we just did. See if that feels any better. Oh man! All right, let's uh, drop this down a little bit. Going to fourth. Let's see if we can't. If that feels better. Oh, now we got some self steer. That feels a lot better, actually. Just flat footing this FC. Oh, I should have broke how much the sand stops you right away in this car all right Let's see if we can get this I think I can still get it I think I still got all oh. I still got it here. <laughs> it's definitely so different than what I'm used to on the PC side with a set of Corsa. But we're good. We got it for sure, I believe. We're getting back in the fields. There we go. So, can we still drift in Forza 7? Yes. Yes, we can. Oh, and so we do that. Oh, <laughs> hard hit into the wall. So let's, why do I keep hitting my keyboard? I, I keep forgetting that I am on Xbox, not on PC. I'm trying to use my keyboard and stuff. So we're gonna switch up cars, maybe switch up tracks and uh, see what we can do. I feel like my camera got a little dark on you guys. That's better. So let's change up cars and go to a car that everybody knows about and a car that I spent the most time on. And that would be, where are you? That would be the Corvette that I became so comfortable in when I was preparing for ESDA and stuff. So, little, uh, 
a little back to basics here on the channel for today. train of thought on that. Car didn't grip how I expected it to. A little clutch kick though. I feel like if I wanted to get back into throwing down some sessions online in Forza 7, I will definitely have to get some practice behind the wheel again. Brakes do not work like my cars in a set of Corsa at all. Gonna have to maybe tune these cars a little differently now. Yeah, brakes do not work how they do in a set of. Gonna have to fine tune the brake settings and stuff if I wanna continue to drive because I've basically changed my driving style, switching from the Xbox to the PC and going onto a set of Corsa. So if you guys want to keep seeing Forza Motorsport 7 content and all, you know, some back to the Xbox stuff, as well as a set of Corsa and the PC side, let me know down in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this a throwback to the original OG game that I used to play all the time. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.